Hello and welcome back ladies and gentlemen. Hey, my name's C. Scott and we're back on FTB Social Block today. Now, uh, today we're going to, it's going to be a little different episode here. Uh, we're going to do our typical time lapse because we've built some brand new stuff and, and I apologize for being a little delayed because we got kind of a big build here that's taking me a while on it. But uh, I also want to spend some time and show one of the live streams we just did um, over this past weekend and highlights out of that because I think there are some fun things that we did with that. Um, and so let's get started with doing that. It's going to be a great day. So let's get started. Okay, uh, so the uh, the first things let's show is the build that we actually did. Um, and what you guys are seeing here is the start of our new area that we're going to be able to build out warehouses and power plants and all sorts of other things here. Uh, really, really have needed this because this is uh, <laughs> this is going to we got a lot to do. And if we, we remember seeing the creative quest at the end, uh, we're going to need a lot of space to be able to, to crank a lot of this stuff out. So uh, we built it. There's a lot of cobblestone on the backside, but uh, really wanted to kind of a, a little harbor feel here, here, you know, kind of like what we got on their side. Uh, but we've got some big areas here. So we've got an area here. Uh, we've got a little area down here. And then we've got the big, big area, which is up here. And we'll, over the next... And while we're doing this, we'll we'll build all these out and we'll have a lot of fun with them. Um, but let's let's talk about some things that helped with that. One, the infinity wand. I used our only nether star <laughs> to create an infinity wand. Call me crazy, but I did it. OK, uh, I thought we needed that, um, especially with doing that back there. I was going to blow through way through many diamonds. So, um, hey, we're getting some dolphins out there. So, yeah, 100 uh, percent. Second thing is, is in during the time lapse, you probably noticed a couple of these piers just like automatically, like, you know, appearing in space, right? Yeah. Well, that's because I went and spent some time and built the copy paste gadget here. Um, I don't know if I can, uh, maybe we can do it this way. Copy. There we are. Uh, fairly simple here. Took a couple emeralds, but we got plenty of emeralds and everything else we've got a fair amount of right now. So not a big deal. Um, but what I've got, I've got saved on here is this copy and paste uh, that this right here. Basically, it comes from here and then it comes to this. So this basically section on the back side of it, I've got that. I'm going to post that to Pastebin. Check out the description um, and then you can download that. And I will also put a video in there that I watched on this. So there's this guy that had done a really, really good thorough job on the copy and paste tool really cool um so go take a look at him on, on how to actually use it i thought he did a really good job of explaining it um so yeah um but check that link in the description too 
Um, but both of those are there, so if you guys want to replicate that, you can. Uh, but pretty simple. Uh, it just it's it's just yeah. <laughs> so, uh, and we'll, we'll we'll build out and make this pier look a little bit better here, the harbor. So, yeah. All right. I one thing I wanna I wanna note uh, and then highlight here that we did last time was down here in the basement in our in our workshop. We had actually had put. Um, those covers around our storage terminal and thanks to thanks to a comment that we got we realize now that they still at the integrated dynamics has their uh has the facade so i just want to put some white wool on that and kind of makes it look a little better there so i appreciate the uh the information on that and the facade so now now we're, we're doing even better there <laughs> so all right let's see other things that we have done and made here uh, all sorts of things we've done. Uh, but let's get to the first thing um, that we want to show and highlight. And that is, is that we built out a ship here. Um, I think it's best to show it from up here. So we can we, get, we jump from about everywhere. But we built a ship. We actually built a ship. Um, and it's pretty stinking fast. Um, and so check out this uh, <laughs> this clip here uh, from our uh, from our live stream where me and T Fox we just built this and we race it over to his house. And if you remember right, his house is right over here. And so we raced over there to that. So check this out. So we've got the leads. Uh, let's go with the wool. Should be enough wool here. We could probably build all this out of our okay one sail uh we'll need a chest two more pieces of string and then the birch boats okay uh, that's probably not enough uh, yeah just enough perfect okay three birch boats and two more string and then we'll make ourselves a quick uh what do you call it chest so chest and we are birch all right birch drinker let's go put this thing in the water right here whoa check that guy out <laughs> Give us back our ship. <laughs> uh, what's the inventory look like that? That's not a very big inventory. Uh, and uh, how do we, uh, there we go. Yeah, hey, look at this thing cruise. Look at our island there as we look off to the sunset, and 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 the capes. I mean, even how cool is it? The capes are like in in the wind, and we're moving too fast, or I just crashed. No. Nope. <laughs> Welcome to uh, Sea of Minecraft. Now we talked about this one night. How cool would it be to have uh, cannons and stuff on it? You know. All right. Yeah. Hey, let's go. Let's do a race here. You know, they have cannons and stuff. Birch. Or there we go. All right, <laughs> we'll let him. We'll let him get lined up here. Him and his big, big boat, and uh, we're gonna race. <laughs> Now, I don't know if I have the controls right on this, but all right, <laughs> three, two, yeah, one, go. Oh, it's close. Is it the is it the server lag, or is it us? <laughs> Who's gonna hit the first thing? Ah, <laughs> uh, it's not us. I hope. There we are. Look at us. Hey. Out racing him to his own house. Man, this little thing cruises. Holy smokes. Man. Oh, 
if we could circle this place and still beat him back to the finish line, probably. Even though I don't know there's a finish line. Either that or he's just nice and let us win. But this little cr thing cruises. Holy smokes. It is. Yeah, it's that's awesome. No, look at that thing. That is cool. Alrighty, welcome back. Now that was a lot of fun. Uh, we really had a really good time doing it. Uh, <laughs> it was, it's pretty crazy. So, uh, but we got ourselves a ship. Um, there's a whole bunch of other ships here. Uh, let's see here. It's like we look at like that ship. Yeah. So we built uh, the Draker here. Um, in a pretty simple ship here, and we used the birch because I don't know. We just want to use birch. Uh, but a couple leads, the sail was, you know, some logs, wool, and some more leads. You can make leads with uh, slime balls and string, and we've got plenty of slime balls, and we have plenty of string, and, and, and it makes two of them. So, you know, keep that in mind when you make that. Um, but, yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun. And, man, that little thing flies. I will tell you that one thing that it, that it doesn't beat is the sea moth. The sea moths are super, super fast. And uh, <laughs> really crazy sea moths. Um, we found some things out about them. Like you can jump them out of the water. Like literally jump them straight up out of the water here. Never mind these obsidian boats. We'll talk about that uh, here in a second. But hey, check out this clip here real quick uh, of T Fox. And we're testing this out of how far we can get that sea moth into the air. So check this out. <laughs> we'll catch you at the backside of it. We dive right on in. Oh, what? Eat. Yep, good call. Thank you. All right. Yeah, he's going to jump it out of the water here. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. Here we go. All right. Yeah. I'm going to jump this thing out. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. <laughs> Dude, you probably had, like, I, I don't know, at least two people's length, you know, and height coming out of the water. It was in, like, slow motion. <laughs> Holy cow. Oh my. Holy smokes. All right. So, yeah, those things haul. Uh earlier today he was jumping trying I told I bet him he couldn't jump on top of our our barge there and uh he couldn't. He couldn't get to the top of on top of that, but that's a that's a, that thing's a lot of fun. So, yeah. Hey, the other thing we did, you might have caught this just a bit ago. Is there's a couple there's a couple little red X's down here with death number seven and death number eight, um, and we actually have uh, a fair amount of deaths now. <laughs> we're, we're getting there. Uh, let's see here, right right in here. Yep. So we've got a total of eight deaths, I think, um, and two of those were from an expedition that we decided to go do, and that was to go and find one of those domes, and then we found. Uh, you can see here, you can see the domes, right? And then there is also another underwater kind of, I don't know, it's got all the gold and the, um, and the prismarine, uh, the, the lanterns down there, the, uh, prismarine lanterns, I think is what they are, right? Uh, I, I always have to look this up. Lanterns, it's, uh, no, the sea lanterns, sorry. Yeah, but, uh, <laughs> that was quite fun. So, check out some of the highlights out of that. And and honestly, it, it's a little little lackluster, but it's definitely just just take a look here. There it is. All right. Okay, now I don't know if I want to jump out if we're going to run into problems here. Come on. Ugh.
Okay. Almost got all the spawners. All right. Spawners are down. This wasn't very hard. Not with two people. Oh. Is there another spawner around here? Uh, we'll let him take all the... All right. Well, that was anticlimactic, by the way. All that for... Oh, that blue chest. You want that blue chest, man. Go ahead and pop that thing. That'll give you... No, it wasn't an R1. That was very, very uneventful, by the way. Huh. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's a, that's a underground temple. Uh, yeah, uh, welcome to the underwater. I'm going to go take this on here. Watch this. Let me, let me. <laughs> Just stole all that gold. <laughs> 24 blocks of gold out of there. <laughs> let me, uh, let's take our little ship over here a little closer so we can use it. Because we'll, we'll fill our, our iron in it. Oh, I killed him. Awesome. Okay. Need to eat again. I'm gonna smoke from something. This Osmium sword is actually quite worth it, by the way. What is this down here? I don't know where I left our sea moth. There it is. Let me jump in that real quick. If you need to get air, jump in the sea moth that's over here on this side. And that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh! What are these blocks? I, I don't. Oh, that's like glowstone. Right? Yeah. Close. Uh, I, I, we probably, is this the same one? All right, we're out. We gotta, where's our sea moth at? Parked him underneath the staircase room. We're right. No, we're dead. We're not gonna make it to the top. <laughs> Here's my question. <laughs> Why is it that we've died twice? <laughs> and T-Fox there is still alive. Uh, I mean, come on. Really? So, ooh. Look at you in the iron armor. Huh? I, 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 I don't know what we're doing here. <laughs> Well, <laughs> I'd love to say that it was, you know, the, the dome was kind of, eh, you know, it was pretty quick. Two of us took it on, not too bad. Um, and then we got a couple other things. But out of that, you, you notice the obsidian boats, right? Well, that came from some of the loot. And they just throw them out there. <laughs> so I've got obsidian boats out there. And then on the back side here, we split, <laughs> we kind of split all of the, the rewards. You can now see my horse. <laughs> it's got gold armor. I don't know why you put this fridge out here, but we got a fridge. And then out of that, you know, this is kind of what we got out of it. Um, we, we're we going to split it. We haven't really split it yet, but this is this is all that we got out of all that. Um, the 26 gold blocks are pretty pretty good. Uh, a lot of the prismarine chunks and, and the prismarine shards. So, yeah. Uh, some basalt, which we'll probably utilize that in some of the builds, but yeah. And a banner. So, I mean, nothing, it, it was very, very lackluster, but uh, the last thing I want to show you guys is, is that we created all of the materials for this, right? We are playing in survival, and it took me about 24 hours to collect all the materials that we built for this, and I kind of want to show you guys what we did. You remember a while ago, we got that, uh, 
the stoneworks factory for as a reward well yeah we came over here and put that thing to work and so out of that we've created um an anzodite uh, diorite uh stone uh crack stone we put this little thing to work and we put underneath here we put a cobble gin that'll feed into a storage drawer that goes into uh, the processing block um, and then out to a basic fluid tank at a mechanism which then goes into both the stone factory and a magnetic dynamo um, and then I put the filter on here because if you have a storage a storage block a crate a chest iron chest storage drawer uh, this will feed these uh, fluid containers back into them, and it's really, really a pain in the ass. It took a while to figure that out. So this, the only way that the jar feeds is into the basic fluid tank or to the trash can. And so any of those extra, the extra, you know, fluid containers that are made all go back into that. Now, if you don't do that, then what ends up happening is, is they throw them out on the ground, um, and then it stops which isn't good if you're letting it just auto process all the time. I also, instead of doing a magma, you know, the blue magma blocks, I put the soul campfire underneath there because it's a 15 seconds uh, for the time. And that's about how long it took to make all of these when you're doing it. Cause we had sand being made. Um, you know, we had, we, I made some nether rack too. Uh, I made granite yet. We will obsidian we made. Uh, but but all of those things we made and it, and it takes a while for those to go through so uh, Yeah, and then we did a lot of bricks. Oh, and by the way, we updated this uh, our furnace to the to tetrium furnace here um, Because I wanted to like I just wanted to go quick And so we we've got 32 stacks of bricks ready to go for for the build that we've got going over here That'll go up here soon uh, so stay tuned. Uh, we've got a huge, huge build that's going to go out there. It's going to hold everything. Uh, this thing works pretty good, but the stone factory actually is a whole lot better. So, yeah. <laughs> but but that is what we've kind of worked on for the last couple days. Uh, it's been a lot. There's been a lot of a lot of time and building trying to figure out how we want to do that. What what we want to do up top here, because what we did up top here ultimately shapes the size and everything of it and so this is about a 75 blocks from here to the end that that uh out there that is 25 blocks long by 19 blocks wide so uh so yeah that's it took some time to figure that out but it gave time for all this to process i mean let's let's look at what our current count is 12 stacks of emerald chunks we've got 86 stacks of, of iron clusters uh we've got eight stacks of diamond chunks so we are well on our way that once we get the processing and, and the storage systems and everything and that's gonna and the power all set over here we're gonna be ready to go so yeah yeah absolutely so with that I know a little different episode but I, I kind of wanted to highlight a lot of the fun things we did do um, just recently and so with that thank you I do appreciate you all stopping by my name is C Scott and we'll catch you all again very, very soon.